Hello, hi, welcome everyone to our Academic Society Showcase. We're going to be meeting some of the Academic Societies today. Um, my name is Joel and I'm the Vice President of Activities here at London South Bank Students Union. Um, along with me is Priya. Hi everyone, um, I'm Priya. I am the Student Engagement Coordinator um, at the SU. So I basically work with all of our lovely academic societies um, and yeah, support them in everything that they do. Sweet. So before we get going and meet the first of our societies, um, those of you might be wondering what an academic society is. So academic societies are a student group that come under the sort of branch of societies, and they tend to be rather than like interest or cultural societies, they are academic extracurricular learning societies. They run alongside courses. Um, anyone can join. Um, it's a place to, for networking and professional development. It's a way to make friends outside of your course and outside of your year um, that you might not necessarily meet along the way in university. It's a peer support and welfare network, essentially. So you might find yourself at some point maybe not going where you want to be and you just need some advice from someone that's been, in, been there before and these societies are amazing ways for that. They're also uh, full of fun activities and yet, yeah, like I said, an amazing way to make friends across your course. So the Students' Union supports academic societies in a number of ways. The first one being funding. We are there to fund and help you set up or even run the academic society and get that going and continue it to add to the student experience here at South Bank. We also help with publicity and promotion. So that's to do with social media pushes. Uh, on campus, it'd be more physical, like print work and uh, banners and, and different role banners and things like that. And then just general promotion, getting out the email comms, getting the word out that the society is there and trying to increase the, um, the, the pull and the, the, the audience of the society. Advice and support from staff and elected officers. So Priya here, here would be a staff member. Uh, myself would be an elected officer and we are there to support you um, along your way because it shouldn't be fair that we leave the societies up to you to sort of take and just run with. We're there to support because, you know, you're here to study at the end of the day and we don't want this to, any, any issue to get in the way of the studying. So that's why we're here to support everything that you do in the society. And then finally, you've got networking and collaboration with other societies. So you can either connect with completely random societies that have nothing to do with your course or you can find similar sort of connections with them. And it's, it's definitely a way to check up and see how things are going. Um, so yeah, Priya, I don't know if you've got anything to add to that. Um, not really. I mean, I guess basically just that, as Joe was saying, you know, we're here to support you guys, um, you know, and that's really like a great thing about being at South Bank SU is, you know, that we have this great team. There's me and um, another student engagement coordinator, Andrew, um, who many of you will meet if you end up wanting to start an academic society, um, you know, and obviously um, Joel, you know, so we've got a lot of people behind the scenes here kind of working to support these societies. And that is definitely like a resource that we want you guys to yeah. make use of. Um, yeah. And I guess also just I would say that academic societies are something we really, really want to push this year. It's part of our big new union strategy. Um, you know, we really, really want to make sure that every student across the whole of South Bank has the opportunity to have this like extracurricular activity for their course, no matter how big or small it is. Even if you have a cohort of like five people, we want to make sure that if you wanted to, you have those extracurricular opportunities. Um, and yeah, we'll be getting on to like giving a little bit more detail later about how you can either join one of the lovely societies that are about to present themselves um, and explain what they do. Um, but obviously, we're also always open to you starting your own because we don't cover every course currently, um, but we'd really love to, as I said. So, yeah, we're going to give you all the details, um, probably either in the middle or towards the end of the session yeah. um, about how you can go about setting up your own academic society. Sweet, so that's all good fun. So yeah, the quickly before we get on to the next slide, so the benefits, obviously, as I mentioned, is making friends. You do pick up stuff like leadership skills, and it's also a way of understanding that work-life balance here at university. Um, you know, it's not all about the fun in the classroom and things. Um, it's a way to sort of widen your knowledge as well of the of the base of the, the course rather than going out there and just studying. It's a way to sort of get in there and get active. It's also a fantastic way to enhance your CV. It looks really good for certain um, applications that if you're getting out there and getting yourself known for the extracurricular activities. 
and then finally teamwork there are a lot of group projects you have at university so get picking up teamwork skills and learning to work with other people um through the society is um amazing so i believe next up uh we have priya presenting the built environment and architecture yeah, so um, we're doing this alphabetically, which sadly means that I have to start with some people who unfortunately couldn't make it, but um, I'm going to be presenting um, what they very kindly sent through. Um, so I'll just quickly share my screen. Um, right, that should be working. Joel, maybe can you shout if it is just to let me know that it is working. Um, cool. So, um, built environment architecture. Um, so obviously that kind of covers the entire school of built environment architecture, which is a big school here at, at LSBU. Um, but we think it's a really, really great way because it means that that you kind of can connect across loads of different related, um, but different courses. Um, so yeah, what they said is here are we. So in the BEA society, um, we aim to bring together people with a common interest in the buildings around us and all the architecture and engineering that comes with them. So there are currently three people um, on the committee of the environment and architecture. So there's Keir, um, who's the president, and he studies quantity to surveying. And um, then we've got William, who's the vice president, who studies building surveying, and Taya, who is the treasurer, and she studies construction management. So you can already see in there, you know, you've got a great mix of courses um and yeah really like building those links across the school um and they're a fairly new society so they're actually kind of launching properly this semester um so that's kind of why they've put here what we want to bring you um what kind of events and stuff they'll be putting on so they will be putting on things like talks from industry professionals um social events so virtual currently all of our SEO activity has to be virtual um but eventually hopefully we'll have something in person um, competitions, um, so that's kind of things that you can enter. Um, I know that within obviously built environment architecture, there's lots of kind of building and engineering competitions that go along with that. Um, they're also hoping to post pandemic do some site tours of construction projects around London, um, news events and opportunities around London. And they're also kind of hoping to build this community of like minded people and having a WhatsApp chat for the society. So as Joel kind of mentioned earlier there, you know, you've got all this stuff, great opportunities that they're bringing you and, and opportunity to learn outside of the curriculum, but then also just a nice like social environment as well. So how can you get involved? Um, if you're part of the School of the Built Environment, then this is a society for you. I will also say it's open, all of our academic societies are open to anybody. So even if you studied law and you thought I'm really interested in the built environment, then you're more than welcome to join the society. But obviously, by and large, academic societies are going to apply to the people who are on those courses. Um, so, yeah, to get involved, you've got to head over to our SU website um, and sign up. So um, they've got the link down there to the society's page where you can go and find it. And then all you have to do is just buy um, a free membership. So it's completely free. Um, you just kind of have to go through that process of it says like purchasing, um, but it's free. Um, so yeah, make sure you log in, you click the Your Opportunities tab and then Clubs and Societies. Once you've signed up on there, then they will reach out to you because um, they can then have access to your email um, and they'll link you into their WhatsApp group chat, which is, I think, where a lot of the stuff is going on at the minute, obviously, since everything is virtual. Um, they're also really active on Instagram. So they've got the link to their Instagram there, um, which is the LSBU BEA Society. Um, and they've also got their email. So if you have any questions um, at all, then you can get in touch with the committee there. All right, I think that's everything that they had sent me. So I'll stop sharing my screen now. Um, and who are we going on to next, Joel, do you know? So we were going to um, drama, I can fill for them. They're not here at the moment, but I can fill them. So we have a drama and performance society here at South Bank. They're a cracking group of people that um, at first as, um, but before were deemed as an interest society and now they have um moved uh, transitioning into an academic society so that's why they're here to present with um with the other academic societies they're a fun and creative group of people that love to sort of get together and make amazing shows 
they pride themselves in being a diverse society. So whether you're interested in being on stage or working behind the scenes, they cater to students of all abilities and want. Um, it's an opportunity to try something new, uh, gain more confidence, make friends, and more importantly, have fun. So they've left a message here for me to read out. So they meet on Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. That would usually be in the studios, but it's now moved to like an online thing. Uh, so what I'll do is I will plug their social media at the end um, or below. I think hopefully something will come up for drama in a second. And then, yeah, you'll be able to get in contact with them and see what they have to offer more so. Uh, you can find them on Instagram. It's LSBU underscore drama sock. Um, on Twitter, it's at DLSBU. Um, and then you've got their email, drama sock at lsbsu.org. And that's how you can get hold of those guys. Um, I've, I've known a few of the members throughout the years and it, it sounds like a good group of fun and the common misconception is you don't have to be part of the drama course to join them um, although it's now deemed as an academic society anyone across the university can join the drama and performance uh, guys and they have been putting on some really amazing activities in the past and there is some recently they did a they hosted along with the psychology society they hosted the murder mystery night to raise money for charity that was a big success and you know it just goes to show them that they're really pushing the box and and thinking sorry pushing the boundaries and thinking outside of the box as far as working as a society is concerned. So we are going to talk about now quickly how to join a society. So what I shall do now is I will show you how to So let's try and share my screen quickly for everyone. There we go. So hopefully that's on screen for everyone to see. So here is the Student Union uh, website. Nice and quickly. At the top here, you've got the menus. If you head to opportunities, you'll see the tab that clubs and societies give that a click. And we've got the two main sections. Now you can join sports here, you can join societies. Um, so join the societies, click on the nice big purple rectangle, societies, and here you will have the list of all of the societies and they are even put under groups. So course led would be where the academic societies are. So here we are. Um, and for example, say we want to join the um, Built Environment and Architect Society, click on them. There's a description about them and the membership is free. So some of these societies have got free membership, others maybe a little bit more. Um, just got to go in there and check them out. And then, yes, yeah, uh, you can register interest there. And that is nice and simple how you sign up. If you're having any issues uh, sort of with, the, with the website or signing up to anything, that's no problem. If you head to the bottom, you'll see an email there, hello at southbank.su. That is what you need to email to get in contact. And one of us will be in touch to help you with your queries and or needs. So nice and simple, very straightforward website. It's a brand new website and we love it to bits and it's, it's really good. All right, so I think that we will now have um, Gabriella, who is going, she's actually on the committee of both Law Society and the Bar and Meeting Society, which are our two different legal societies that we have here. So she'll mostly be talking about Law Society, um, but she's also going to give us a brief introduction to Bar and Meeting as well. Thanks so much, Gabriella. Hello, I'll just uh, quickly share my screen for my presentation. Uh, hello, my name is Gabriela and I'm the secretary and events coordinator for the LSB Law Society. I'm also in my second year studying LLB Law and today I'll be uh, talking about the Law Society as one of the most prominent societies on campus. We host many events with collaboration with the Law Society. Also, we do career events, social events, charitable events and networking events with uh, social partners. We work with LSBU campus ambassadors from different external organizations who work in law and the educational sector. Our society's partners are Byte Network who help every student get ahead in their careers. 
and the lawcareers.net, which is a comprehensive one-stop resource created for future lawyers and those who recruit them. To join us, you can visit the South Bank SU website, then you can log in with your student details and then you'll be able to buy a membership. Just to let you know that the membership would only last one year. So far, we have uh, completed an Internship Experience UK with Bright Network, which is an online work experience session. We have also bothered up with Bucac 2020, which is a British inter-university commercial awareness competition. And it currently became one of the biggest commercial awareness competitions where you can compete against other law studying students from a non vassal group universities. We have also done an event called BAME A Legal World, where BAME lawyers comes and shares their academic and professional experiences with our students. With COVID, we have done recently a weekly drop-in session in collaboration with the Bar Meeting Society and the West Law Campus Ambassador to support our students with their studies and the LSBU life. Due to the pandemic, we couldn't unfortunately host our traditional Christmas social, but we did do an online Christmas bake competition with our lecturers and our members. We are planning ahead to give um, more career events, online socials and more surprises. So do keep an eye out on your email. And we would like to tell you that we're on every social media besides uh, Snapchat and, talk, uh, and TikTok. But if you go to the search bar and you type in LSB Lawsock, you'll be able to find us. And now we see about the bar meeting society. The difference is that um, the bar meeting mostly deal with meeting competitions, uh, where this is a simulated uh, kind of like a court, uh, the same way you'll be doing um, in a court situation. And it's mostly to prepare you for the bar course. And if you uh, decide to be a barrister rather than a solicitor, and we also host events with um, barristers from the past. That's it, thank you. Amazing, thank you for that there. So I see that we have some sort of questions in the comments, so I'm just gonna address these. Uh, what's my stance on the current IT situation that's impacting pending modules and exams? So the University and the Union are working very close to sort of bring you a solution. More communication will be coming out about that. Um, in fact, we've got some sort of comments coming out over the next few days. So just keep an eye um, on your student emails and on the social medias for both the university and the students' union. If you do have any questions um, about it that you sort of like want in more detail, if you email hello at southbank.su, um, then we'll be able to contact you directly. So we have got up next the nursing side. Before we do that though, um, I just want to sort of put out there the engagement and important, uh, importance of sort of join, joining any sort of uh, social, uh, social group. So whether it's um, a sports team society, academic society, interest or cultural, they're an amazing way to sort of mix up your routine here. Um, you'll find without society and sports teams, it's the same sort of schedule um, each, each day of the week and repeats. When you throw in things that student groups have to offer, like different events, um, the um, that we have to offer. Anyway, I'm now going to bring on uh, nursing um, that will have a chance to present themselves. Hello, uh, hopefully everyone can hear me. Hello, uh, I'm Charlie. I'm the Vice President of Student Relations at the Nursing Society. And with me today as well is Leanne, which is a VP of Welfare, and Amy, who's our president. And I'm just going to be telling you a bit about Nursing Society. Watch to figure out how to share the screen. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Hopefully this will work. Uh, uh, oh, hang on. I've just got to enable something on my system preferences. Sorry. Technical difficulties. Love working online. Here we go. Ah, okay, I'm going to have to quit and rejoin. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Give me a second. It's telling me I have to do that. Hang on.
Amy, do you want to introduce the society as president and then Charlie can kind of join in? <laughs> Amy, we can't hear you. There we go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Amy. <laughs> um, I'm the president of the Nursing Society. Um, I'm second year children's nursing student. The same as uh, Charlie and Leanne. Um, oh, Charlie's in now. Are you ready, Charlie? I'm in. Yes, I'm ready. Sorry about that. It's because yeah. my Mac's really OTT about security. And it's like you have to quit Chrome and then reopen it to go to a presentation. Okay, brilliant. Can everyone see my screen? Amy, can you just confirm you can see my screen? No. No. Okay, brilliant. Hang yeah, on. Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, yeah. you can see it. Okay, brilliant. So, here we go. Uh, so, the LSB Nursing Society. So, myself, Amy and Leanne have recently kind of restarted up the uh, Nursing Society. Uh, we've kind of started running it from scratch. So, I'll give you a bit of an overview of our plans and what we're going to do. Um, so, we're the Society for All Nursing, all nursing Students. And so anyone, if you're doing children's nursing, if you're doing adult nursing, if you're doing mental health nursing, if you're doing learning disability nursing, um, feel free to join us. We want everyone to come together to share their skills um, and to kind of interact with nurses from the field and stuff like that. Um, so we're creating a community and we want to create a really supportive group as well where you can voice your concerns because we know that nursing could be a really stressful course. Um, so it's really good to kind of be able to talk to people about it. So as you can see, uh, when it opens here we go this is us so that's me uh so i'm the vice president of student relations amy is the president and leanne's the vice president of welfare as well uh so so far this year uh we've run a successful launch for our society we did kind of a few quizzes and events to start off uh when we launched it uh, back in september and we've also advocated for change around um, the exams recently um, in our course um, and the health and social care and making sure that students have allowances for the fact that it's online and obviously with the Moodle being down. Um, and we've also run wellbeing sessions, which Leanne will tell you about in a bit, um, where students were able to talk about their concerns and we could even help them address some of those concerns as well. Uh, for the rest of the year, we really want to get on with having some sessions with qualified nurses from the field. Um, and we also want to run revision sessions as well um, to help people kind of collectively go over their knowledge. Uh, we want to continue with Leanne's wellbeing sessions, which have been really successful so far, um, and obviously continue to advocate for students. And we're a society where if you have any concerns, you can come, feel free to talk to any one of us, and we're happy to help you address those issues. Um, myself, Amy, and Leanne are also course reps on our course as well, so we're used to that as well. Um, so how to, oh, here you go. That's our social media. How to join. Uh, so you must be a current LSB nursing student. Um, admission is completely free though. So you just go on the uh, nurse, the LSBSU uh, website and you sign up via the uh, society's page. Admission is completely free. Um, and there it says, yeah, you can join us from that website. Uh, in regards to our social media as well, I've just got a little link here. So I'll just leave it on there for a sec. So if you just open up your camera on your phone, and scan this code and I'll take you to any of our social medias um, where you'll be able to interact with us. Um, but if you have any questions uh, regarding that, uh, you can let someone from the LSVSU know and they can get in touch with us. Um, but thank you so much for watching our presentation. I'm just going to let Leanne talk a bit about the uh, wellbeing sessions and Amy, you can give a bit of an overview as well. Uh, thank you. Stop sharing Hi, everyone. Screen. Uh, yeah, so as Charlie said, um, I run uh, pretty regular wellbeing sessions. These are usually on a Friday. Um, they have been really successful in terms of we, even though all three of us are from the same course and the same cohort, we've actually had um, various people from different years as well as different fields of nursing that have come to myself or come to the society to ask a question that you know perhaps they didn't they didn't want to email or you know something like that um and yeah it's been a really good way of interacting to getting to know people that are on different fields um you know we're, we're a little bit sidelined to the fact that we are all children's nurses so um you know it, it's sometimes nice to talk to someone who is an adult nurse or is you know a learning disability nurse um so that that is definitely the benefits of you know having sessions that as well as what we run as a whole society, um, having individual sessions can allow for that kind of personalization, personalization and for those that perhaps don't feel confident enough to be able to, 
you know, talking either like a big group or to email someone that they they don't know who they are. Um, it gives them, yeah, th that little bit of comfort, which is great. Um, yeah, it was something that we didn't know how well would actually go uh, until we started. Um, and then, yeah, once once we started it, it's something that we we continue to do pretty much every week uh since moodle's gone down uh and all of that we've obviously not been able to get the list of our members up so them sessions have stopped all all the time that the internet issues have been occurring but um as soon as they're sorted out them sessions will be back up and running again and yeah i think that's pretty much everything um amy do you want to say anything um as president i kind of take a lead on putting the um, plan together for the year for all different events that we're doing. Um, obviously, we didn't really think it would be all online for the whole of this year, but um, we're going to do our best to try and put some things together for you. Um, we've been doing like bake-offs and quizzes and all that kind of stuff. So <coughs> we'll work on uh, getting some, ideally, we want to get some um, nurses to come in and do online chats with you so that you can kind of do um, like Q&As with um, healthcare professionals. Um, but obviously they're quite busy at the moment. So kind of bear with us with the events at the moment. But um, obviously like Leanne's um, wellbeing chats will be going um, hopefully soon. <coughs> um, I also take a lead on the social media sites. So if you do follow us on any of social media platforms, that'll be me chatting away. Um, like we said, we're all in the same cohort. So we do tend to go a little bit quiet at the same time because uh, we'll all be on placement <laughs> together. So um, it's great being in the same cohort, but we do have a downside of, you, we might disappear for a while, but we'll let you know. And um, you can obviously always contact us. Uh, just the uh, social media side of things might be a bit quiet, that's all. Um, we're working on hoodies. So hopefully they'll be available soon. So if you are interested in joining, you will be able to buy a proper nursing society hoodie to look fancy in. So um, yeah, we're excited about those. Uh, I think that's everything from us, unless Charlie and Leanne have anything else. Uh, not really, no, but thank you so much guys for listening. Uh, and we hope you can come along and join us. And we really want to get the whole nursing community together, especially at this time when for nurses, it's a really difficult and straining time. We really want to bring everyone together and really showcase how brilliant nurses can be. So thank you so much, guys. Um, and please do get in touch. Please do get involved. Um, you know, we, me, myself, I mean, and we've really been kind of powering through with this and we're really excited to kind of get this off of the, uh, off of the ground. So thank you so much. Have a lovely evening. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Amazing. Um, thank that, that you was so much, quality. nursing. That was great. And I think I also just actually want to say that presentation has really made me just reminded yeah. me how amazing all of our societies are that are operating at the minute. You know, they've had a kind of insane challenge thrown at them this year to put on things that are engaging and exciting online, which is we all know is quite difficult already anyway. Um, on top of doing their degrees online and all sorts of other stuff that has come up this year um so you know i just want to say a huge well done to everybody all of our societies that presented already everybody who's still to come you know people who aren't here um we're just you know it's really amazing work um that you guys do and that you know for anyone else who's watching really just like great stuff to get involved with definitely cool so what i'm going to talk about now quickly uh before we have the next society which is occupational therapy i'm going to talk about student jobs quickly so my screen should be on screen momentarily. Here we go, website again, cracking stuff. Um, now, if you head up here to your opportunities tab and you go down here, you'll see a thing called student jobs. Now at the SU, we proud, uh, we pride ourselves in really engaging with the student community. And part of that is making sure that there are part-time jobs that students can, that we do our part to provide part-time jobs for students to have during the time you're in study. So if you click on that student jobs tab, you will have a page here. Now, these are the current vacancies we have going. Um, they will change throughout the year, depending on the roles that become vacant. They are all varying sort of backgrounds and skills. And it's a really good way to connect yourself here with the community, as well as making some money while you're here um, alongside your studies. So if you see one of these roles, um, we are going to go, let's say, click on activities assistant. It will bring you to the role. 
it'll give you a job description of the role and then it gives you a place to look at the application forms and the equality and diversity monitoring form. It gives you information about the application process and sort of the closures of that. And I really recommend you, um, especially now because it's online and, you know, it might be a bit harder to find a job. Take a look at them, send in your application, no matter sort of what your skill sets and what your backgrounds are, there is no harm in trying um, because we want you to be part of our community here. So that can is I, quick. Can yeah. I also just shout out quickly um, on the jobs thing um, that the what the first job that you can see listed there under the opportunities is student peer trainers um which is part of our skills program that we're doing um at the students union and the applicant the reason i'm shouting that out is because the applications for that are closing tomorrow at 5 p.m um so it's a really amazing program that we're um piloting yeah. this year where you have the opportunity if you have any kind of skills or experience in your life that you want to share with other people um, you can become a peer trainer of the SU. We're going to provide you with loads of training on how to deliver workshops and stuff. Yeah. Then you would go on and do workshops for your peers. And it's a really, really great way to give back, to gain skills yourself and all that kind of good stuff. But yeah, applications that close tomorrow Perfect. at five. So get those in. Awesome. Cool. So next up, we have occupational therapy. Um, they'll be doing a little presentation for us. Hello. Hi. You all right, Priya? Uh, let me just share my screen. Okie dokie. Hello everyone, my name is Sasha and I am the first year representative on the Occupational Therapy Society Committee. Um, we do have a very large, um, amazing committee, but everyone is actually on placement at the moment. Um, so what is OT? So occupational therapy is a health profession which focuses on enabling people to get back to the activities that are most important and meaningful to them. It's about enabling people to get back to their full independence. And this can be done through many interven interventions within many settings, such as schools, hospitals, community, forensics, the list is endless. Um, and it's a little bit why I decided to study OT myself, um, because I love how creative you can be and um, the ability to think outside the box. Um, with what you come up against. Um, you don't need to study OT to join our society and to find the things that we do very, very interesting. Um, we welcome people from all backgrounds and academic disciplines and offer a range of continuing professional development opportunities. So what have we done this year so far um, since September? We've done mm. three journal clubs. Sasha, yeah, sure. sorry to interrupt. Yes. You're, actually, you're not sharing your presentation, you're sharing the studio screen. Oh, so, oh no. Uh, sorry to interrupt. <laughs> sorry. You're so well, it sounds, I... it sounds lovely. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to remove that. Um, okay. So, hey, everyone. Um, so, yeah, if you can f try and do your presentation, because I could. Is yeah, it could... sharing now? No, so still, it's just me and you on the screen. Oh, okay. Um... I can't work it out. I'm so sorry. Oh, is so when you go to share screen, you yeah. should have the option to um, your entire screen or application window. If you click on application window, mm, that there's, then, shall I stop sharing for a second and then yeah, cool. share screen application window? Yep. And then screen. PowerPoint then, uh, presentation. There's no PowerPoint option, but I do have a PowerPoint. Is your PowerPoint um, on minimized? Yes. Okay, so okay. Um, unminimize it. Ah, oh, okay. All right, there we go. I'm so sorry, guys. Sorry about that. Cool. Thank um, you. I'll just quickly show you the first two ones that I had just here so you can have a quick look. And here we go. Yes, this is where we were about what OT was. And then here we are in regards to what we've just done. So our journal clubs, and um, these are once a month, um, and this is usually to discuss, well, it is to discuss a particular journal um, that you are given prior to the event. Um, and it's usually done within a critical appraisal framework to help with your professional development. It's very, very popular. So we usually put you into groups of 
um, maybe five into breakout rooms so that everyone can discuss their thoughts or you could just sit back and relax and enjoy the discussions taking place. We've also had a panel discussion on supporting victims of domestic violence. We've had a Q&A event on leadership in allied health professions. And this was with the Physio Society, a meet and greet Freshers Social, a cultural club with Brunel OT Society, a panel discussion on equality and diversity in OT, and a fundraiser for Legs for Africa charity and top tips for our first year students. So that's just some of what we've done. Um, and what is coming up in the near future that you may be interested in is our panel discussion on paediatric OT. Um, so you could just have a, a, a general interest in paediatrics or specifically paediatric OT. So come with anything you want to discuss or it, just enjoy what's going on. And we also have an OT and sexuality talk for LGBTQIA plus awareness month and our very popular annual conference from the 1st to the 5th of March. More details to be released soon. Um, what you get with our annual membership is free admission to the society events and we have approximately two a month discounted tickets to our annual conference and a monthly newsletter with contemporary issues on um, OT and within the healthcare industry. Now, it's usually £8 a month, but we have a 20% discount at the moment, so it'll be £6.40, I believe, if you just click the discounted membership option when you sign up. And you do this by going to www.lsbsu.org forward slash societies forward slash LSBU OT Society or if you have any questions please email us on occupational therapy soc at lsbsu.org thank you very much and apologies for that <laughs> sweet amazing stuff uh, yeah. no problem at all I didn't even notice so it's all good <laughs> um, smooth transition there thank you so much for that so we've got some filler time now before the next society comes um, along. I think what might be an idea is to answer some, uh, there's a question we have in the YouTube comments. Do you have a society for uh, on special needs in higher education? So we have uh, a society currently at the moment called the Invisible Disability Society. Um, that is at the moment sort of our only uh, society in, in terms of special needs and di disability. However, if you are interested in sort of setting one up, or looking to do so, then I shall show you quickly how one can do that. And then I'll also show you the um, Invisible Disability Society thing. Let's go to get my screen up. There we go. So in momentarily see, there we are back at the homepage. Now, once again, if you head to your opportunities and we hit clubs and societies, and we're gonna hit to society. So before I show you the Invisibility, Invisible Disability Society, up here, you'll see a link that says start your own society. Now, what that's going to do is that's going to bring you to a form. And that is the form that you will fill in and send back to us an email to societies at lsbsu.org or hello at southbank.su. And that is how you can set one up. We support you through the whole process and through everything. Now, if we go back, I will be able to show you the... Invisible Disability Society. So this is the current, um, uh, one of the sort of current special needs societies at the moment. So um, they are hoping that as a society working together, they can change everyone's outlook on invisible disabilities, not just within LSB, but also in the wider community. So if you've got any sort of, uh, if, if this appeals to you, if it's required to you, then get in touch. Um, you'll see that the um, staff and alumni membership is £6, but if you're a student here, the membership is free. So I would definitely get in, get in touch and involved. If, however, you are looking to set something up that's slightly different towards disabilities and special needs, then get in touch with us and we'll help you set that up. So, awesome. And I guess one of the things to remember with societies, um, academic societies more so, is that it just adds that extra level of experience to extracurricular um, activities. And it's not just about your course as well in these societies, it's about building bridges and connections with like-minded people. Um, you might find that you meet people that you never speak to about your course, but you've met them through these societies just because your similar interests have built those bridges. So, yeah. All cool. right. So, I'll I think we can, 
Yeah, no, that's fine. So um, I think we can hand it over to one of our most recently formed um, academic societies now, who are a society that's doing a really, really great job. Um, so yeah, psychology, if you want to take it away. Hello, um, I have not done this before and I'm worried that I might have some technical issues myself, but I'm Sarah. Um, I am co-president of the Psychology Society. Ladies, do you want to introduce yourselves? I'm Rachel. I'm also co-president of Psychology Society. Hi, I'm Courtney and I'm the treasurer of the Psychology Society. Right, now the next big challenge, um, getting the PowerPoint up. So if I just click onto the PowerPoint, can you guys just confirm that it is on? Yeah. Okay, how's that? No. No? No, because I, I didn't share the screen. I didn't press share the screen button. Share the screen. Oh, right, My, I've got the same system problem. Oh, God. Hey, uh, if you just maximise the PowerPoint in the background. No, I'm asking you for, um, I need to accept. It's, um, a, it's a settings thing. It's the same. Oh, the same that Charlie had. Okay. If yeah. you do that and then you have to come back in and in the meantime your uh, colleagues can fill perfect Good luck. <laughs> right i'm i'm afraid i'm just gonna have to wing it with um i'm gonna have to talk instead um i'm sorry guys it's just not gonna happen so yeah, so the Psychology Society, as we said before, it is it is really new. So we founded it in um, sep well September October time. Rachel and I got together. Yeah. This time we were like, right, something needs to happen. We ha we have to do something to try and get that community group kind of going. Um, so the society is um, a group of like-minded psychology enthusiasts. It's for everyone, there are lots of branches at LSBU um, with the psychology courses. So there's general BSc, there's um, forensic psychology, there's um, developmental psycho. There's a, there's loads of different branches, um, and we encourage anyone who is studying those courses at any year, or anyone that actually generally just likes psychology, to join us. Um, the membership is completely free. Um, the way that it works is that we have fortnightly sessions, um, so every other week, and it alternates between social aspects, academic aspects, and fundraising things. So we kind of like we like to mix it up and get you know expand our knowledge and stuff like that. Um, so far, we have over sixty um, members, um, all from a massive variety of courses. So we've got master students, we've got first year students, all doing different. Like the demographic is huge, and we really really encourage that. Um, and so, so far, a little bit about what we've done in the past year. So we've managed to uh, hold a online murder mystery fundraising event with in collaboration with the Drama Society, who um, very amazingly wrote and performed it. And we managed to raise over £420 for St Mungo's Homeless Charity, which is a charity that is uh, that works with LSB quite a lot. Um, we have got a guest speaker in um, who works for a charity called Change, uh, organization called Change Grow Live, and he is a um, community coordinator for recovering drug addicts. And he came and explained some insights about, you know, his job and profession. Um, and more than that, we're we're kind of still getting on with social media and stuff, as you can tell. I'm not very technological, but we're we're we're, we're mastering Instagram and all of that at the moment. So our Instagram page, if anyone fancies following us or wants to know more about it, um, it's at LSBU, no, LS, yeah, LSBU underscore Psych Society. We would love to have more people interested and involved. That's where we post a lot of our things. And we have a WhatsApp group chat as well, where we, you know, all the students, we like supporting each other and, you know, talking about what's going on and things like that. So definitely we're trying to get, you know, bigger and better. Um, we have four main goals of the society. So we, we, we're trying to increase increase the social aspect of online school um, as that is quite difficult at the moment so we're trying to host as many you know friendly inclusive events that we can kind of just hang out and talk on and be friendly and supportive of each other um the people that are studying psychology i mean i can't i'm only speaking for myself but i love it as a topic in general i think it's really really interesting and i know that people even who aren't studying psychology are also quite interested in the topics and so we like to expand our knowledge on different areas that might not be covered in the course some might be some might not be but with with things like guest speakers and stuff like that um we are trying to to ever so slowly build relationships and um networks inside and outside the university as you know obviously this is quite a um a uh 
a hard career choice to get into with in terms of placements and stuff because it's quite discreet obviously and finally the, and mainly it's just to have fun and support each other um we have a few exciting things coming up the next semester, but we won't give too much away. Um, if you would like to join and this interests you, then please email myself or Rachel. Um, the, the email is on the slide. Um, or otherwise, um, as Joel and Priya said before, we are on the LSBSU website. So please feel free to uh, join and membership is completely free. And that is all I have to say. Do any of you girls have anything else or is have I managed to nail that in three minutes? No, I think you okay, know. Good. Cool. Cool. Thank you. Cool. Thank you so much, guys. Um, that was great. So I think actually we're going to just hand straight over to our next society, um, which is Social Work Society. Yep, that's the one. Fab. Hi, good afternoon everybody. My name's Shalisha. I'm the president of the Social Work Society. I don't have a fancy presentation for you, but I thought it would be handy if I direct you to our student union page. Bear with me. Can you see that? You can't, oh yes you can. Can. I was going to say you can't give me an answer, can you? <laughs> right, so um, this is our page. Um, so as it says, a huge welcome from the Social Work Society. Um, before I kind of tell you why we got together, um, what our aims are and, you know, what we, our hopes and our future plans are, we got together during like the height of the pandemic. It's the first Social Work Society at LSBU. Um, I'm in my final year of my MA in Social Work. Um, and in my experience, my cohort were very supportive via um, WhatsApp. So we wanted to kind of create a community for student social workers um, amongst all of the cohorts um, and bring everybody together. So that's kind of like why we got involved with the society and started the Social Work Society. Um, so basically, yeah, our aim was to bring all um, student social workers together at LSBU. Obviously, our society is open to everybody. Um, we also wanted to raise more of an awareness of the, the student social work department um, and try and do some collaborative working with our lecturers who are so skillful and knowledgeable. Um, we just wanted to do a little bit more with them so we thought the society would be a good platform to do that. Um, and just basically give us all some extra further opportunities to develop within our career, um, you know, by getting involved with social projects, um, having guest speakers from non-traditional social work settings, um, peer supervision, um, and like a wellbeing hub as well. Um, it's quite common with social work and other professions as well that people do often um, burn out when they're working as social workers or studying as social workers. So we want to kind of like instill some techniques and tools that can kind of, you know, get us through those tough times. So, uh, scrolling down. So the team at the moment, it consists of myself. Um, if you go on our page, we've got some links here that will give you a little overview um, just about our contributions, our roles within the society. So you've got myself. We have Leah, who's a vice president. We have Melissa, who's our secretary. Um, we have Miata, who's our mental health and wellbeing officer. She also takes the lead on all of our social medias, which I will give you the links for soon. Um, and we have an inclusion officer, um, Jade. We do currently have a treasurer position open. Um, so please do get in, in contact with any of us. Um, our email contact details are um, on the screen um, if you're interested and like to get involved with that. So at the moment, um, our focus has really been about um, a domestic violence campaign. Um, we know that it's not ready yet, but this is something that we've been kind of like working um, towards in our final last semester um, that we're going to contribute with the, the student union as of when they're, they're ready to launch that. Um, so some other bits that you can get from our page is some free social work resources. Um, we have knowledge and experience and skills from Siobhan McLean. There's a link there. 
Um, you'll hear quite a lot about the Social Work Toolkit, so we've got the direct links for there, Social Work England, Aswa, um, Sky, it's all there. Um, so obviously, talking about health and well, your well-being, we've linked in with the support services, so you can see that you can get academic advice via our page as well, directly to the student union. There's a link to the Uni Buddy Ambassador um, page that the Uni operate um, that you can access via our page. We've linked into, we've got a link here that will take you to the volunteering opportunities that the university are operating. Um, we're currently fundraising for UC UCKG. Um, and below here, you've got a list of our student society reps. And at the bottom, we've got a, a link for you to share your thoughts and your feelings um, and ideas. So that's basically our page. Um, as I said, we're really, really new. So we do value your feedback. Um, it's your society. So we're trying to shape it from the, the need of students. Um, but that's us basically at the moment. Um, yeah, reach out. So. That's me. <laughs> Thank you. You're on mute, Joel. Almost a smooth performance. Uh, thanks for that. It was a really amazing presentation. And next up is our final academic society of the session, and it's therapeutic radiography. Hi there, um, so we're Therapeutic Radiography, um, I'm Tabby, I'm one of the co-presidents for the Society and we've also got Anna who's the secretary for the Society too. Um, yeah, so we are a really new society as well and um, we are just, five of us started setting up um, the Society a couple of months ago um, where we realised that we wanted to sort of create a space for students who wanted to extend their interest in the study of therapeutic radiography beyond their beyond just their studies, um, keep a space for them to meet like-minded peers and ultimately create a bit of a community around radiotherapy at LSBU. Um, it's been quite difficult uh, setting up a society during during COVID. Um, but actually there that has there have been some opportunities uh, for organizing events that maybe are a little bit easier than may, it would be um, for a new society if we were organizing them in person um, so yeah i'll pass you over to anna who'll be able to talk a little bit about some of the events we have plan plans coming up hiya um so i'll just go straight into it so we already um have started looking into having career focused talks so we're contacting one of our lecturers who works in the private sector and um once she gets back to us we'll be able to organize something there so what we'd like to do is have feedback from private and public sector um, radiographers who'd be able to give us um, valuable insight and just things that we might be able to put on our CVs to help us in getting the job that we'd like. Um, we also um, are planning on having external speakers who can then go into um, cancer related subjects and talks um, and give a bit more in-depth knowledge. Um, we're looking into fundraising events and also liaising with different cancer charities. Um, and once all the restrictions are lifted, we are then going to be having face-to-face -face meetups where we'll have game nights, um, days out and trips, just things in order to build the therapeutic society and have a real feeling of community. Um, and some of our members are actually, um, student representatives for the Society of Radiographers. So with this, you have a direct link to the society. You're then able to go to a student rep and um, give feedback or any comments, any concerns you have relating, the course, relating to the course as a student, which they can then take back to the Society of Radiographers. Um, so I think mostly, those are most of the events we, um, have in the workings at the moment but with that being said we are looking to expand and we're looking to have members join us and come with their own ideas where we can put 
other things into um, practice. Um, and our membership to our society is free. So you're able to come in and contribute yourself as much or as little bit of your time as you'd like. And it's really just down to you. Um, yeah, I think that's everything I needed to say. I just wanted to add lastly that we do have a position of so social media manager open. So if anyone would like to join us and manage the socials for us, that would be great. Tabby, do you have anything else you'd like to add? Uh, not really, I think you covered it all. Um, so yeah, so as, as we were saying, we are a super new society and this is kind of our first semester where we're going to be doing events and things. So any anyone who feels they have anything they could contribute to the society, please do get in touch, whether that's, you know, if there's maybe a, a position you feel you could bring to the committee, um, do, do reach out to us. Um, or if there's just any ideas of things you'd like to hear about or if um, there are any, any talks that you'd be particularly interested in. Um, and again, you know, similarly with the other societies, we're not necessarily restricted just to students studying therapeutic radiography. Um, a lot of our talks and events will be of interest to anybody who has any experiences of cancer or is interested in learning more about cancer experience and cancer survivorship. So, so yeah, just, just reach out, get in touch. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. That was really, really great. Um, and yeah, so exciting that so many of the people presenting today have been from such new societies. You know, as, as I said at the start, we're really pushing um, to get loads of new societies set up. And those are some of the fruits of that work. So it's really, really great to see that. So that is it in terms of all of the societies that we had who were going to come to present today. So um, I guess basically what that leaves for us to say is... Um, if you heard all that stuff and it sounded really exciting to you, but you didn't see your course represented or your subject area represented and you want to set up an academic society, please do. We would love you to. Um, so I'm going to just briefly explain how you can do that. And maybe, Joel, would it be possible for you to like screen share and walk them through what I'm about to say on the website? So um, basically, if you want to set up an academic society, um, go to... Um, our website and then forward slash course based societies. Um, sorry for making you type, John, that's really obnoxious. It's course based societies, but there's, I think, dashes between course. You know what? Let's go to. Uh, okay. Sorry about this. That's okay. No, hang on. I'm going to check the link in the chat so that I really should have prepared that before just asking you to go to a, a rogue link. Shouldn't I? Right, I've just thrown that in the chat. Oh. There we go. Oh, wow. Speed typing. So yeah, so you head to this page, Course Based Societies, um, and there's lots of the information that we've already given you there about what are the reasons for joining Course Based Society, what they are, et cetera, et cetera. And then if you scroll down to the section where it says, how do I start a Course Based Society? So first of all, obviously check that there isn't one already for your course, which you can do by going to the main directory um, of all the societies. Um, and then if you um, don't see your society there, then there is, well, there would be if Joel was logged into the website at the minute, but yeah, so make sure that you're logged into the website and then there will be a form um, down there where you just fill out your name and like what course you're on um, and any ideas that you have for the society that you want to set up, that will send it through as an email to me. Um, and then I will get back in touch with you really quickly um, with all the details of how to continue setting up your society. And we usually only take a few weeks to get a society set up. It's really straightforward. It's really easy and it's so beneficial to you guys and to everybody at South Bank. So yeah, we'd really encourage you to do that. Amazing. Um, so yeah, I think the last thing for me to say is uh, thank you very much Priya for hosting with me and to all of the uh, society members that have joined us uh, this evening for this. I think it's been such a sort of interesting and engaging um, stream. So yeah, um, I guess, We'll see you all very soon in the future. And I hope to see some of you engage with our societies, no matter which kind of uh, phase it is. And yeah, on behalf of the Students Union, thank you very much for coming and we'll see you soon. Thank you so much for coming, everyone.